te encontraba en el pájaro y la flor, en la lluvia, en la tierra y el silencio, y en mis sueños cada noche estabas desde entonces quiero darte siempre gracias, porque puedo darme cuenta de tu amor. Beberé de tu cuerpo y de tu sangre, y por siempre te daré mi corazón. Con intention for all our parishioners. Together with our different intentions, we now begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, kindly, Lord, we pray on the devotion of your people, that those who by self-denial are restrained in body may by the fruit of good works be renewed in mind. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Set out for the great city of Nineveh, and announced to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh, according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single day's walk, announcing 40 days more and Nineveh shall be destroyed. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast. And all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, laid aside his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in the ashes. Then he had this proclaimed throughout Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles. Neither man nor beast, neither cattle nor sheep shall taste anything. They shall not eat, nor shall they drink water. Man and beast shall be covered with sackcloth and call loudly to God. Every man shall turn away from his evil way, from the violence he has in hand. Who knows? God may re relent and forgive and withhold his blazy wrath, so that we shall not perish. When God saw by their actions how they turned from their evil way, he repented of the evil that he had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. The word of the Lord. Response to your psalm, a heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. 
thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and on my sin cleanse me. A heart a contrite and humble, O oh God, you will not spare him. A clean heart create for me, O oh God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. A heart a contrite and humble, O oh God, you will not spurn, for you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, wisdom of God, the Father, Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, wisdom of God, the Father. Even now, said the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, wisdom of God, the Father. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. There is something greater than Solomon judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah, they repented, and there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. I invite you, my dear brothers and sisters, to take a moment and reflect on the psalm that we have just recited. And maybe connect it with those words that invite us to the gospel today. Even now, says the Lord, turn to me with your heart. For I'm gracious and merciful. And the psalm that we just recited says, A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spare. A humbled heart. We know as human beings we are rational beings. And rational as we are, we are good at questioning everything. We need to put our mind on everything, whether good or whether done with a good intention or not. If it does not appeal to my mind, then either someone is plotting something or there is a hidden agenda here. There is no way as human beings we shall accept things the way they are. And that's our nature. Just think about it. I was just here talking, uh, the other day we had a meeting with Father Pira and he said, making jokes, and the jokes with Corona. And we said, let's put this Corona virus in the context of the church. Think about it. 
if it came from the Pope, that every Catholic to, be, to survive or to, uh, to be saved must put on a mask. How many people would have done that? Would begin saying that Pope must be out of his mind. Maybe he's not a scientist, does he know? That God created our nose open so that there can be that exchange of oxygen. And even if it was revealed by Christ himself, there's no one would get just a small percentage who would do that. Or think about it. The, re the reactions that people are putting across to the vaccine. Not everyone is going there willingly because we keep rationalizing maybe this was intended to wipe away certain race, maybe, a maybe, maybe. I was just sharing uh, with my sister, you know South Africa has been hit so bad. And she said, Father, if you go for that vaccine, you must be out of your mind. Say no, why? Say because this vaccine was designed for a purpose. So when we look at what happen, what's happening today, we can understand why Jesus is praising the Ninevites in the, in the gospel. Jonah was a foreigner by all standards, given a message of salvation to the Ninevites to change from their sinful ways and surprisingly enough, including the king himself, without criticizing anything, they embraced the message of Jonah. But this calls for the heart that is contrite and the heart that is humbled. And this is what we are called to create as we go through this Lenten season that we beat our own rationality so that we can enter ourselves to soften our hearts so that the messages that come across our minds can get a, comfort, I mean, a fertile ground like it was with the Ninevites. And that's why Jesus turns around and says, at judgment, the men of Nineveh will rise and condemn this generation. He's not praising the Ninevites because they were sinless, but he's praising them because of the disposition they had towards the message of conversion. And that's what we are called to do during this season of Lent. That we open our hearts to be contrite and humble. As we reflect on those words of Joel, even now says the Lord, return to me. We are not returning to the Lord with our reasoning. Return to me with all your heart. For I am gracious and merciful. It's the time to look into ourselves and put on a scale our lives of vice and our lives of virtue. But when we approach it with, with, with reasoning, we just find even the evil that goes through in our lives. We pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that we shall be like this queen who recognized the wisdom of, of Solomon and left all her glories and put down all her pride and in humility she went seeking to listen to the wisdom of Solomon. Like these Ninevites who beat down their rationality and humbly embraced this foreigner, Jonah, an enemy because he belonged to a different kingdom. But still, they yielded. They were more focusing on the world, the word that was communicate, communicated 
other than a messenger communicating the word. That likewise, we may have the same disposition so that we make this season of grace more beneficial to us to turn to the Lord with all our hearts for the Lord is always precious and merciful to us. For the church, may the Spirit give us courage to spread the good, the good news. We pray to the Lord. Lord For those in governance and public office, may the Lord strengthen them in leadership and guide them in their hearts towards charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord For those who feel they cannot be forgiven, May the compassion of God open their hearts to his abundant mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord For those gathered here, may God grant us the grace in this Lenten season to recognize our sins and turn back to him, we pray to the Lord. Lord For those who have died, members of our parish community, members of our individual families, May they be welcomed in the kingdom of God by the mercy of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord we now take a moment to offer those prayers that lie in the silence. Offer to you, O oh Lord, what you have dedicated to be, what you have given to be dedicated to your name, and just as our benefit to make this gift sac gifts a sacrament, so you may let them become for us an eternal remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is so right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will 
that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels. As one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord. The fount of all holiness, make holy therefore his gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Mass on us, so we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be for health to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, for him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And in God's command and form for advantage, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace. I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world.
before the Lamb of God, before the Lord takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Sacrament was holy. Oh, sacrament Let us pray. O oh God, who never ceases to nourish us by your sacrament, grant that the, nourish, the refreshment you give us through it may bring us an ending life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the man.